Let's talk about astigmatism. Uh, I'll give you my personal opinion. Astigmatism was not prescribed for until around 1900. You could get 2020 with minus lenses, with various degrees of um, 2040, 2050, 2060. Uh, yes, completely normal eyes have astigmatism. That's a fact. Not much. In fact, nor more. Most normal eyes have astigmatism. It doesn't hurt anything. It doesn't interfere with anything. Reality. Um, I will post remarks by a Steve Gallup, who fully described astigmatic corrections and no real need for it. I measure my own refraction, and I just don't bother with it. One eye might have one doctor astigmatism, which you actually measure, but you look with both eyes and the intelligence of the brain and your retinas is that they cancel out. I take any astigmatism less than two doctors can be converted to spherical equivalent and just use a minus lens at your own Snellen. Just make sure you pass the 2040 line and the DVD, you know the DMV requirement. Look at your Snellen and pass it. Uh, I read a lot about Jake Steiner's. Everybody's in a panic about astigmatism. When can I get word of it? It hurts. Uh, you think of it and they will come up with it. They have no idea what they're talking about. The best way to deal with this is to measure it yourself, preferably using a horopter or a trial and sit cat. I see absolutely no desire need to measure it. But if you wanted to measure it, then that's how you would do it. Uh, again, I will just take a stigma astigmatism measurement divided by half and add it to the spherical then go look at the snow and through an appropriate minus lens if that's where I am. Uh, I know what I advocate is hard. It means personal responsibility. Steve Gallup is nearsighted himself and he went through this process of becoming seriously myopic. So optometrists suffer it from it too. Tragically, their own parents are myopic and their grandparents are myopic. So I hate to say it this way, but they don't learn anything about the behavior of the natural eye, proven behavior. And I know they can't apply to you in an office because you're not going to accept any prevention. If you're going to have a relationship with an optometrist, then you better decide whether you're going to look at your own Snellen at home and define success. Can you define success as passing the DMV test on your home Snellen? If you can, and make a relationship with an optometrist towards that specific goal, then you have a good optometrist. And the only problem is you might not, might not get there. And in fact, optometrists judge that nobody could get there. How close are today to that fact? They're pretty close. Providing you're not yet wearing a minus, you can probably get out of it by using plus veneer. Can you get out of it using Jake's method? I hope so. But you'll get out of it, out of it by looking at the snowing and in the last stage, using a plus veneer. I do not conflict with Jake. I never say therapy. Plus is not therapy. Plus is not medicine. Plus is getting rid of the near environment, which is the reason you got into it in the first place. And I noticed that no optometrist will tell you this. I will also post remarks by optometrists who are selling things 
It's rather a 12 minute video and it's about seven minutes of accurate fact about all the bad things about getting to the nearsightedness in the first place. And then they start talking about how they're going to do it to you. Not how you're going to get out of it, what they're going to do. The two things they're going to do is put your kid in the atropine on a daily basis forever. Or they're going to put a contact lens to sleep in, and then that's forever. Will that work? Will they get out of it? Their answer beforehand is no. That is the nature of optometry, and really a failure to tell you anything when you need to know it. And putting a minus lens on, and then after you get down to eight doctors, they'll say, okay, now we'll help you with atropine. I think it's a very tragic situation. Um, you'll just have to think this through. If you have a light minus prescription and you don't look, in, you know, don't look at a minus, you're really shooting yourself in the foot, right, Brunt, bluntly. Wearing a plus is a long-term proposition, but it's far better than a minus, and it's far better than atropine, and it's far better than sleeping in a contact lens, but you take complete responsibility. You can't re share responsibility with an optometrist. I wish you could, but you can't. The plus lens, what does it cost? <laughs> it doesn't cost anything. I hate to say it that way. And that may sound like a slam at optometrist, but really, the honest one told me the truth. And it was Prentice and Rafelson. They both indicated the need to start with the plus before you get any deeper than about 2040 or so. So listen to um, a statement about astigmatism. Uh, I know now no optometrists who push all the optometrist nonsense off the table. And before the kid is nearsighted, put him in a plus. This is when he has 20-20. So you're going to say, I don't want to wear plus lenses when I have 20-20. But this optometrist puts his kid in a plus when he has 20-20. That is the way you should be thinking about these issues. I can't help you. I don't charge any money. Uh, matter of fact, Jake doesn't either. A lot of free, free advice, but free advice is worthless until you know what you're doing. Thanks a lot.